your excellency uru kenada president of kenya deputy president william ruto honorable cabinet secretaries chairman of various chambers and associations of commerce and industry friends from the business community of kenya and india ladies and gentlemen i'm happy to be with you on my first visit to kenya as prime minister indians in general and gujaratis in particular <laughs> had their second home in kenya so from that perspective i'm really late in visiting this great country there has been a long gap of nearly 35 years for the visit of indian prime minister though at a personal level i was able to maintain engagement with kenya as chief minister of gujarat i visited kenya in 2008 we also received delegations in gujarat from here at the outset i must compliment the people and the leadership of kenya for overall development and stability since independence its infrastructure make it an influential player in the region you are the only developing country which hosts the headquarter of united nations agencies <laughs> friends india and kenya have had a very special relationship thousands of indians were brought here to build railways in 19th and 20th centuries mahatma gandhi had been a common inspiration for the struggle against colonialism indian banks have been operating in kenya since 1953 the first cuttings of the famous tea plantation of kerisho came from our assam state in addition to being loyal citizens Indians are also the third largest group of tourists to Kenya. Your scholars and students consider India as a very comfortable place to live, learn and work. No wonder many words in Swahili language have their origin in indian languages both countries have had very old maritime contacts over the indian ocean many indian companies have made kenya their base to operate in the entire east africa 
Mr. President, I'm aware that your government has laid great emphasis on the use of solar energy in daily life. We are also working on an ambitious renewable energy program. India and Kenya are blazed by sufficient solar radiations. Solar energy is a real solution for global warming. It is also a good strategy for providing electricity to remote villages and hamlets. We look forward to work together on this front under the International Solar Alliance. <laughs> Similarly, health sector is another area of great interest to both sides. We are happy that thousands of Kenyan patients have returned from India after a successful treatment. I understand that Kenya would like to replicate the Indian experience in Medicare and become medical hub in this region. We would be happy to support you in this process. These are just a few indicators of the depth of our relationship and the potential for cooperation. Friends, our predicament of the past is same. Our problems of the present are same. We have had common enemies. Earlier, it was colonialism. Now, it is poverty. So, as we work together in the past, we have to work together even now. Like Kenya, India is also a young country. Your workforce is sought after in Africa. Similarly, the Indian workforce is sought after in the entire world. We can do a long together to nurture and train this human capital which can serve the whole world. Today, India is the fastest growing large economy of the world. We are not only having a high growth rate, we are also going up in various global indicators. We have jumped 12 marks, 12 ranks in the latest global ranking on the ease of doing business by the World Bank. <laughs> India has also jumped 16 places on the World Economic Forum's Global Competitive Index. Friends, India has changed a lot in last two years. We are now the most preferred destination for foreign direct investment. In the year 2015, we have received highest ever foreign direct investment. And for you, the good news is that India is the largest trading partner of Kenya. <laughs> India is also the second largest investor here. We will be happy to further remove the imbalance in trade between us. Yeah. We will also be happy to enhance the level of investment in Kenya. I am here to assure the people and the government of Kenya that India stands by you. 
our friendship is only a win-win game. Whether it is Kenyan students in India or Indian professionals in Kenya, both should shine. Whether it is mines, minerals, or machines, all are rewarding areas. We should joint explore the opportunities. Various initiatives during my visit, including this meeting, are indicators in that direction. Friends, at the end, I assure Kenya that India will always work to strengthen your processes and enrich your resources. You may be knowing that we have launched Make in India campaign to make India a global manufacturing hub. Similarly, you have launched Make It Kenya to promote business and holiday opportunities. In fact, the two can become complementary. Since our commitment is to make the future of the people, and since the people are largely the same, the suite of Indians has cemented the foundations of this nation. Indian blood has colored its wings of freedom. It does not matter, I repeat, it does not matter whether we make in Kenya or make in India. And friends, as a demonstration of our commitment for Make It Kenya, we have printed a guidebook on doing business in Kenya. This is for the guiding the Indian investors to invest there here. It is my pleasure to present the book to His Excellency, the President of Kenya. Thank you.